Hi, and welcome back to Brentech IT Support. Today we'll be looking at synchronizing your Synology to your QNAP NAS. Now, one's going to be on the site, one's going to be off site. You can have both the same makes, different makes, it doesn't matter. You've got a way to get it so your files can be on both machines at the same time. If you make a change in one, it'll happen in the other, and vice versa. So they will actually sync. The deletion happens as well, but it does allow you to have off-site replication in real time. The requirements are as you need to install some extra software on both machines. You also need to set them up properly. So we'll show you how to do that if you come and have a look at the screen. So this is on our Synology where I've deleted it so we can start again with a fresh install. It's already installed on the QNAP to make life a bit easier because the actual setup is the same process. Okay, you've got to come to your package manager, click all packages, and then search for R E S I L I O and click install. Whilst that's installing, you want to come to your control panel, shared folders, and you want to create a new shared folder. I'll hide it from people that don't have permission. Click next. We'll give it an encryption key. And click next. You might as well always check the checksum if you've got the Synology. Allow that. You want to save a copy of your key so you don't lose it, so you can always access your data, because if you lose that key, that's it. You lose access to your data. You can now choose who has access to that file. And you've now got that file set up. And you want to do the same on your other machine as well. So now that's done, we can just close that and close that and open the application. Now you can choose whatever username you want to give it. And you can just choose their generated password. Select for home use. You can use their name that it's already given, that's fine. Or you can change it if you wish. Close that. Now you've got into this bit, what you need to do is go to the plus. Now you've already got a shared folder. So we want to use the encrypted folder. and select the folder that we are going to share. And so it's going to be the Visio test. Just click open and that generates it. We can close that message. We are after this key if you want to synchronize it. So we copy that key and just copy that into our clipboard and we can close that, close that Close that. Now we don't need to worry about anything else on this side. We need to flick to our other machine. And here we have our QNAP, and you can see that we've already downloaded and installed Visio Sync here. So we open that up. I've also already created the other file. But now we come to here and re enter our key. And we just paste that in and click next. Select the file that we want to sync to and open that. Now it's not empty because it's already got some things in when you create it, but that's okay, you just click okay to that. And you can now see that it is synchronizing. So I'll come back to the remote machine, close that, come to our file station, and we can see here it is empty. So we want to now, I'll quickly show you our local machine, our file station, Mm -hmm. 
test. Again, you can see that is empty. That's just the files it creates to run the system. Create a folder. Test. I'll say OK to that. I'll see here. It now says that's synced. We'll flick back to our remote machine and refresh the page. It's now called test. If I come back and re rename it. Let's call it test two. Go OK. We now come back to our local machine. Refresh the page. Okay, and now you can see that it's changed its name and I added that one on the remote one and they've just come through. It took about five minutes um, for it to actually sync across. So don't expect it straight away, but it will automatically sync. We'll try this again by deleting the CMU file. Yes, you want to delete that. That's on our local machine, and we'll flick back to our remote machine. We can see that it's still there. And that's now actually gone. That, that was actually quite a quick one. So we'll do a rename on the local machine. So that one's been updated. Come to here, and refresh. So it looks like on the local machine it pushes the update much quicker. Now that could be because of the settings on the file. You can say which is the preferred host. So that could well be what does it. So, in one direction, it's instant. On the one that you set it up on, it was an instant update. On the receiving end, it was about a five minute delay before it pushed its update back. So take bear in mind on which one you want to have priority. It looks like you might be able to change which is the priority from within the settings but it might be more of a pro version because this is just the free one that we're using. But that worked very, very well. So far, it's the only way I can see to synchronize two different manufacturers' NAS boxes. I really like that, appreciate it. I do hope that helps you because I know there's a lot of people out there with the same question and they've tried R-Sync, some worked fine, some didn't. I've also found that with this, there was no issue with setting port forwarding on my routers either. Whereas with R-Sync, I had to do some port forwarding and it just wasn't a very good way of doing it. I just didn't like it. So hopefully, um, manufacturers will work together and actually have that as a standard pack rather than a third party one. Um, but it was supported by both QNAP and Synology. So that didn't really bother me that it's a third party one. That was good. Well, I hope that helps everyone out there. As always, I hope you enjoy the video. If so, give it a good thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Take care. See you again. Bye for now.